Yaroslav Kaczynski, who took over as head of the Polish government following a major political crisis, has been speaking to Euronews. He heads a conservative coalition, including nationalist and Catholic parties. Some members of that coalition have proposed anti-gay legislation and the reintroduction of the death penalty. The Kaczynski government has also raised old controversies with Germany and taken a more Eurosceptic line. Prime Minister, welcome to your news. Is Poland with your government resetting his relations with the European Union, especially compared to the commitment that was taken by uh, the predecessor to your government? The fact that Poland is part of the European Union is very positive and we support being part of the EU. Of course, we can talk about the various elements of the Treaty of Accession under which Poland joined the EU, but it doesn't make sense to do that, because the situation is as it is, and we must accept it. In political terms, there's no contradiction. We can preserve the nation-state's sovereignty, which is essential for democracy to work well. Because right now, there's no alternative democratic system which can replace that of the nation-state and at the same time be part of the European system. The way it's structured allows countries to coordinate their efforts. It's based on subsidiarity, that is, the principle that rather than the EU dealing with a matter, the individual country does, when it is better placed to do that. This structure helps build a real European power, able to hold its own against the USA, China and other world powers. Is uh, Poland, with your government and with your leadership, uh, resetting uh, his relation with the European Union and with uh, its uh, European partners, uh, especially after the, what we could call crisis of the mainstream parties, traditional parties in Poland? Ours is a traditional Christian party. The Polish political scene today is better organized and in a better state than before when there were lots of little parties. Now there are two big parties, which is the European norm. According to you, is uh, the death penalty really needed in Poland? That was proposed, not by my party, but by another. They have the right to propose the death penalty, but this is a small party with only about 20 members of parliament. And in practical terms, this isn't an important proposal. The European Commission has opened an investigation on the Danx shipyards. Uh, do you think that your government will struggle in order to save such an important symbol of Polish freedom. The European Commission acts within the framework of European law. I'm happy that I succeeded in convincing EU President Barroso that the case should not be dropped, that we must continue our efforts to seek a positive outcome. But if you ask me the question, am I ready to defend at all costs the shipyards where I spent weeks as a solidarity demonstrator? The answer is yes, I am ready to defend them at all costs. According to you, does the European Union need a stronger common foreign policy, especially after the crisis in the Middle East. Yes, I believe that such a foreign policy could be of benefit to Europe and the world, but if Europe is to be taken seriously, it must be much stronger. Stronger also in military terms, and it should have its own credible military force. That's a problem that needs to be solved in the future. I realize that in the next few years there won't be much progress, but we must look into this so that the EU can become an equal partner on the same scale as the USA and China. Because, as I said earlier, China will become a great power. Europe must be strong militarily. That's what I would like for the European Union.
Are the relations between uh, Poland and Germany going to improve uh, compared to the last months? So the I believe that they will improve from October. Why October? Because there will be meetings.